2a plus 5b is 103. How many pairs of positive, positive, positive integer values can a b take such that a is greater than b? Right? Let us forget this a greater than b. We will come to that later on. Let us think about 2a plus 5b equal to 103. Let us try to find some one value and then we will work from there. Right? So, we can put a is 1, then 2 into 1 plus 5b is 103, 5b is 101, that does not work. If a were 2, this will become 4, 103 minus 4 is 99, write this as 5b is 103 minus 2a. a is 3, this becomes 103 minus 6, that does not work. When a is 4, this becomes 103 minus 8, that is 95, 5b is 95, that works. So, we could have a equal to 4, b equal to 19, that works. What does it work? a equal to 4 gives us 8, 103 minus 8 is a multiple of 5, we threw. Right? Well, think about the next number that will work and how we go about searching for that. Right? Now, think about this. a is 4, b is 19, that works. This is the smallest positive integer a that will work. Now, if we increase a by 1, then 2a will, will add 2 to this. If we a goes up by 1, the sum goes up by 2. If a goes up by 1, then the sum goes up by 2. This has to be offset by b reducing. Right? But if a increases by 1, the sum goes up by 2, 5b cannot reduce by 2. Right? So, so, that is ruled out. If a goes up by 2, then the sum goes up by 4. 5b cannot fall by 4. That is ruled out. So, a should increase by a certain number such that twice of that number is a multiple of 5. So, if a increases by 3, then it, the total will increase by 6, that cannot be offset. If a increases by 4, total will go up by 8, that cannot be offset. It should happen. a should increase by 5, so the total goes up by 10, then 5b can be made to fall by 10 by reducing b by 2. Or what does this tell us? a equal to 4, b equal to 19 works a equal to 9, b equal to 17 would work, a equal to 14, b equal to 15 would work. What are we doing here? We are just adding 5 to a and then reducing 2 from b, 5 up in a and 2 down in b, both will create an impact of plus 10 and minus 10, the total will remain the same. Right? So that is the idea here. Remember, we have done all of this, we have still not yet come to this constraint a greater than b. And a is 4, B is 19, A is 9, 17, 14, 15, all of these work all the way till, see B can go all the way till 1. Right? So, when B is 1, then 5B is 5, 2A should be 98, A should be 49. So, we can have 4, 9, 14, all the way till 49, 19, 17, 15, all the way till 1, all of these are possible. Right? So, totally there are, if you think about b, b can take values 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, all the way to 19, there are 10 different values. Right? Now, let us come to this constraint, a greater than b, 4, 19, this does not work, 9, 17, this does not work, 14, 15, this does not work. If you take a to 19, b goes to 13, this works and from here on, everything will work. a is increasing, b is reducing. If a is greater than b, here, for every other value, a would be greater than b. So, a can take values 19, 24, 29, 34, 39, 44, 49, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 different values are possible for this such that a greater than b and both are positive integers. So, we are looking at choice a.